We have this really amazing opportunity to build a world that people want to stay in for a really long time and have that conversation with them. It's really exciting that this time it's a two-way street. It's not the one-way street it was ever before. We heard loud and clear what players wanted. They wanted more. That's what we've tried to do in the dark below, is bring, bring people more. It's got more Crucible multiplayer maps, it's got a new strike, a brand new raid, new weapons, got new gear. Our story was a core goal for us, so we created Eris. I am Eris, the last. I have seen what the Hive call a god. I told Zavala, we mustn't wake them. Eris is many things. She's a vendor in the tower, so she has loot and armor for you to get as you progress in the story. Kill Sardon. But she's also the main quest giver for the whole Dark Below storyline. Omnigal is wicked and desperate. Keep your light safe. Eris and other guardians tried to kill Crota. It didn't go well, and she spent years hiding in the tunnels below the moon, waiting for a chance of revenge. So one of the new things we're doing with the strike is we're integrating it into the storyline. We wanted Eris to tie everything together. Crota's soul is waking. And so she's woven into the strikes, the story, and the raid, and making it all part of that one cohesive experience. When we sit down as the raid team and talk about building a new raid, we start with, what's the theme? The theme of the Vault of Glass was a descent. With Crota's End, One Way Trip became that theme that a bunch of our mechanics and experiences were measured against. So Expansion 1 has three new maps. There's Pantheon, Skyshock, and the Cauldron. Pantheon is our first truly symmetric map. There are three lanes. There's Cliffside, Center, and Waterfall. We wanted to have better compartmentalized infantry zones, so Skyshock gives us that. You've got the vehicles owning one space, and you've got infantry owning another. And then we have the cauldron. You've got these unique locations on each part of the map that are very easy to call out. You've got bone room, you've got bridge room, you've got the altar, which is what makes it such a good small team map and a good rumble map. In the dark below, you get new guns, new exotics, more choices of exotic armor that change the way the characters play. You've got Eris, who's got a high theme weapon, she's got shaders, she's got class items, she's got bounties for experience. We're gonna have new Crucible weapons, a full set of new raid weapons, new Vanguard weapons, and new legendary weapons across the board. Certainly we're gonna explore some stuff that we think is really cool, but we're also gonna listen to the community and build some things that they think is pretty cool. Just like we shipped the game and it got into real players' hands and they started to play it and learn so much, the same thing's gonna happen with the Dark Below. And I think that's gonna change how we look at Expansion 2 and, and what we do next.